Peace and welcome to all the Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is your abundance reading. What do you need to do now to activate your abundance, recharge your abundance, uh, reignite your abundance? What do you need to do to align with prosperity? Um, you know, the current state of the world is chaotic. And so I just wanted to take this opportunity to give some valuable information to the soul family about what we should be doing spiritually. And so this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. First things first, I am channeling a song by Drew Hill, right? I keep on hearing the words, being in love a time or two, but in the end, I still chose you. Those are the words that I'm hearing. So of course, I want to go research it because I couldn't think of what, what the name was. And it's Drew Hill, we're not making love no more. We're not even trying to change. Um, so we're going to see what that what that song is for y'all when it comes down to your abundance. I think I will start off by saying what I'm picking up on just initially is uh, as cancers, y'all are very emotional, loving, nurturing beings. And when you disconnect from that essence and when you stop yourself from showing up in love, when you stop yourself from being present, when you stop yourself from working at your love, working at your relationships, working at the things that you are passionate about, when you stop yourself from aligning with that, you um, block off your abundance because love, nurturing, that mothering energy is you. And I think some of you who will listen to this have experienced a certain level of heartbreak or disappointment or disconnection and just feeling like the love that you were putting out was not being reciprocated. And so because you felt that way, you kind of adjusted, you made some adjustments, you set some boundaries, which is good. You do need to do that. But at the same time, this doesn't absolutely mean close off your heart because your heart, Cancers, is your magnetism, your ability to love, your ability to nurture, your ability to take care of the people that uh, that you honor, the people that you cherish, the people that mean the most to you. That is where you manifest from. That is where you create from. And so if you found yourself cancers in a in a space of feeling unappreciated, feeling unwanted, feeling um, like you're not receiving the reciprocation, yes, set boundaries, but make sure that you're setting those boundaries in love, right? Not out of anger, because when you are in anger, when you are in frustration, you are going against you are going against your natural flow as that Cancerian, that great mother energy. So really want you to understand that, okay? First card that came out for you all in this abundance reading is the Lunar Queen, all right? The Lunar Queen. And so what this is talking about is you really have to look into the depths of your emotions, Cancers. You really have to look into your dark side. You have to look into that dark feminine, that dark emotional side of you. You want to start working with, excuse me, you want to start working with some moon energy and see what is revealed. Because at the end of the day, when you work with the moon, Cancers, this is going to force you to look at your fears your illusions, your subconscious mind, your, those deep-rooted beliefs and those deep-rooted emotions. And you need to really understand what that is so that you can get out of your own way when it comes down to abundance. A lot of times you don't know where your abundance blockage is actually stemming from because you haven't spent enough time in the subconscious mind, right? You may be able to identify, okay, my parents were very frugal. They didn't really have enough money. They, you know, uh, didn't really have good paying jobs. You may be able to identify that aspect, but do you know how that childhood experience has actually impacted the way you view money, the way you view abundance, the way you view fortune, the way you view your work? When you have that deep understanding, because that understanding comes from the moon side of you, that understanding comes from the um, subconscious mind, right? 
So yes, you may be consciously aware of your childhood experiences and how it has impacted your abundance, but are you consciously aware of the beliefs, right? Are you aware of the beliefs that you've cultivated based off of that? And so some of you may be in this space of believing that, that money is hard to come by. You may think that it's you know, something that you got to work hard for. You may think that you have to have this degree. You got to go to school. You got to do all of these things. You may think that in order for you to make the type of money that you want to make, that you have to be overly of service to others. That's that cancer energy, being of service, giving back. But sometimes you need to turn that energy inward. That's why another card that came out for you is the scales of balance. So Many of you cancers, you give, 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 and care, 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 and nurture so many other people, but you don't give that energy to yourself. And the truth of the matter is, if you don't give it to yourself, you don't give yourself the opportunity to receive abundance and fortune, right? Because you, you've you emptied out your cup, okay? And because you're so used to giving and nurturing, you have to ask yourself, do you actually know how to receive? That's a big one. Some of you cancers who will listen to this video, you have to work on being able to receive the goodness, the fortune, the love, the abundance, right? And not having these subconscious beliefs of, am I really worthy of this? Am I really deserving of this, right? Because you're so used to being a giver, because you're so used to being a nurturer, you may close yourself off from receiving abundance because you you feel like you have to be in the giver position instead of in the receiver position. So right now, as you are reactivating your abundance, as you are renewing your prosperity, as you are just aligning with abundance and prosperity for the first time in your life, for you cancers, you have to balance out the scale of how much you give and how much you allow yourself to receive, okay? You have to look at those very deep-seated, deep-rooted belief systems when it comes down to money, and then you're going to have to do the work to abolish those things, right? This card is the Black Obsidian, right? It's the Black Obsidian. It's the temple of the Black Obsidian, the dark healing chamber. So some of you need to work with a black with the black obsidian crystal because you have some deep spiritual healing work to do. And so when you have to get rid of negative energies, negative emotions, negative belief systems surrounding your finances, this black obsidian could help you with that. And so if you get you a black obsidian crystal, you charge it up. You want to charge it up in the moonlight, right? Because again, you got the you got the the lunar queen, right? You got the lunar queen. So charge it up in the moonlight. Get you a black obsidian crystal. Charge it in the moonlight and direct it. Tell it what it's going to do. Tell the black obsidian crystal that it is going to help you to do some deep inner healing. Let that crystal know that it is going to support you in releasing uh, limiting beliefs surrounding abundance and surrounding finances. You really need that work. Again, a lot of your work is going to come down to understanding that you are actually worthy of the good things, the nice things, the luxurious things in life, and that it doesn't have to come hard. It doesn't have to become hard for you to get this. You get to have it because you are a divine sacred being. You get to have it because you do love and nurture and give so much to people. Be open to receive that for yourself, right? Really ask yourself, Cancers, whether you're sun, moon, or rising, really ask yourself how open, how willing are you to receive? Do you even receive compliments well? Do you receive criticism well? Or do these things make or break how you feel? Um, I'm, I'm seeing a vision right now of a person looking in the mirror or looking in the camera and kind of like picking themselves apart, right? They're identifying all the things that are wrong with them. It may be the skin. It may be your size. It may be um, something on the intellectual side. But what I'm just seeing is you're not really, some of you cancers, maybe not all of you, but some of you are not really uplifting, encouraging yourself and letting you know that you can do it. Some of you are so used to um, being talked down to, right? Some of you are so used to being judged that now you've become your own worst critic. You've become your own 
harshest judge. And abundance doesn't really resonate with that energy. Abundance wants to connect with people who love themselves, empower themselves, who uh, know that they are worthy, that they're deserving, and that they're fortunate, and that they're amazing just as they are. No matter what you look like, no matter what you have, Cancers, you are worthy and deserving of of this abundance. And so this black obsidian, this black obsidian is going to be very, very powerful for some of you Cancers. I'm even hearing um, for some of the women who are Cancers, some of you need to use a black obsidian yoni egg because you need to purge your womb of some of the energetic imprint that you've inherited, maybe from your mother, right? Your mother may have a wound of, of a lack of not having enough or not being good enough. Your mother may have that wound. And because she's your mother, you inherit your wound from your mother. You may be embodying and birthing that same energy. But some of you also have been in relationships with people. I'm specifically talking to the women here. Some of you have been in relationships with men who didn't understand abundance, didn't understand wealth. And so when you come together sexually, he implants that seed of, of lack or of fear or of you have to do or be a certain thing in order to attract financial freedom. And so using a black obsidian yoni egg or any kind of wound clearing yoni egg like that would help detox your womb from those low vibrational attachments and energetic beliefs that don't necessarily align with that of abundance. So you need to look at that. Um, using the moonology deck, uh, you got the full moon in Sagittarius. And it says, look at the bigger picture. All right. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, like the vision that I just had now where I'm seeing a person looking in the mirror and they're picking themselves apart. They're picking out the little bitty things. Spirit is asking you right now, Cancers, to zoom out and look at the bigger picture. Some of you have untapped gifts, talents, um, and just power that you're not tapping into because you're so zoned in or you're so zoomed in on some of these minute, minuscule things. Spirit is asking you, Cancers, to take a step back and to make a move on the bigger picture. Okay. This card says the cardinal moon, be bold and make the first move. So uh, for you cancers, you're going to have to take a step back, look at holistically what it is you desire. Stop nitpicking little things. Stop nitpicking little things about yourself. Stop nit nitpicking little things about the way that you um, manifest your abundance. Stop just nitpicking little things because your nitpicking is the thing that is blocking you from greater abundance and greater fortune. So we just like take the take the um, look at the bigger picture. So example of this is because I know cancers, cancers are very specific about what it is that they desire. Right. They're very clear on what it is that they want. But sometimes, like I said, that that being zoomed in and being so specific may be blocking you from manifestations. An example of this is, let's say you want a house. You as a Cancer, sun, moon, and rising, you want a house. You want to be able to lease a house or buy a house. You know you want a home for your family. But every time this real estate agent, she takes you to see these houses, you find all of the little problems with the house. I don't like that floor. I don't like that cabinet. I don't really love the neighborhood. Uh, you just find all of these little things to find wrong with these houses that you are being shown. Your higher self is asking you to stop picking on the floor. You can do something about that. Put some rugs over it. Stop stop complaining about the cabinets. You can do something about that. Paint the cabinets. Put Bring new cabinets in. Stop picking about the neighborhood, right? Is the neighborhood safe? Does the neighborhood... Is it zoned to a school that you may want your kids to go to? So spirit is asking you, Cancers, to stop being so overly focused and overly critical on these little things because that is stopping you from seeing what's actually happening. You got to look at the bigger picture. You got to be bold. You got to make the first move. You got to be willing to take the risk, take the chances, and get outside of your norm, get outside of your comfortability. The last card from this Moonology deck is the waning moon. And so what this means is, Cancers, is that as you do this work, you're gaining momentum. Things are happening that is going to align and support you in your growth 
in your manifestation, in your transformation, right? Things are actually happening. But you have to be, you have to own it, right? And you have to be able to speak to it, Cancer. So when you start to see positive change happening in your life because you are doing the work, because you're showing up, don't take that stuff for granted, right? Let your affirm to yourself that you are actually doing it. Can't make this up. Your last card for this reading, it says, choose love. Let me pull that back. I don't like how it's looking. It says, choose love. That's what it says. And so that goes back to the very first thing that I said when that Drew Hill song came up. Some of you cancers have experienced some disappointment recently. And because of that disappointment, you haven't been in your nature of love and nurturing and, and, and just being present with you and the people around you. You've kind of been closed off. You've kind of been afraid of that vulnerability because you're like somebody or something is not reciprocating or giving back to you what you're putting out. So yes, set boundaries, but your boundaries need to be made in love, not out of anger and frustration. When you're setting boundaries, Cancer, whether it's with your partner, with your job, or with your children, when you're setting these boundaries, you're doing it because you know that there's some growth and some healing and some transformation that is going to come out of it. You're not doing it to punish them. You're not doing it to say, uh, uh, I'm going to make you see. I'm going to make you see that you should have did this, 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 and this. Because when you're in that energy, you're not in love, right? You're in the opposite of love. You're in fear, actually. All right? So, uh, cancers, it's very simple for you right now. In order to reactivate your abundance, you're going to have to get into your healing work. You're going to have to start looking at your deep-rooted limiting beliefs. Do you feel worthy of, of abundance? Do you feel like you can have it? Do you feel like this is for you? You need to create more balance. Open yourself up to receive. Be willing to receive the love and the fortune and the goodness. Get out of the space of being the overgiver, the oversharer. Stop nitpicking on the small things. Stop tearing, stop tearing yourself apart. You know, stop being overly critical, over judgmental of yourself because as within, so without. So as you overjudge and over criticize yourself, you're also doing that in uh in the spaces and places around you. And abundance don't want to deal with that. Abundance is grand, abundance is massive, abundance is meaning there's a lot. So if you're focusing on the little things, right? If you're focusing, if you're nitpicking and tearing yourself apart and tearing other people apart you're not even in alignment with abundance because abundance is grand. Abundance is the bigger picture. And so your higher self, Cancers, is asking you to take a step back, zoom out, um, and get back into choosing love. And as you consistently do those things, you'll see that abundance start to flow. Prosperity becomes easy, and you'll have everything that you desire. Peace and love. Enjoy.